A woman's quest for belonging leads her down a dangerous path as she becomes someone else entirely. But the consequences of her actions soon catch up to her. Two weeks into the term, Lily Leonetti arrives at her new college campus. She enters Donald Falk's art class and apologizes for being late. After she sets up beside her classmate, Graydon, the professor prompts the class to begin drawing. Afterward, Lily lugs her suitcase to her accommodation, where she runs into Graydon again, though failing to recognize him. He helps her with her luggage and guides her to the entrance. Inside, she meets Tanya, her housemate, who shows her to her room. While walking, Tanya remarks on the other residents, Bridget, a dancer, and Robert, a musician. After Tanya leaves, Lily begins to unpack and soon falls asleep. In the middle of the night, she is awoken by voices in her housemate's room. She follows the sound but is quickly caught by Robert, so she retreats. The next morning, Lily wakes up to a call from her family. Mrs. Leonetti prompts Lily to open her suitcase for a surprise, and inside she finds her family picture and newspaper clippings of her achievements that irritate her. When the mother expresses her dissatisfaction at her daughter for moving out, the painter cuts the conversation short, reasoning that she's going to be late for class. While organizing, Lily stumbles upon a box of old possessions. As she brings it out, Robert peeks into the room, startling her and causing her to drop the box. After he retreats, Lily closes the door. The painter sifts through the scattered items and comes across clothes, photographs, and a diary belonging to someone named Ivy. She begins to read through the diary, but is distracted by the sound of clanging metal. She looks out the window to see Graydon working on a sculpture. Later, the painter posts an ad on the communal university board, looking for someone to hire her as a babysitter. She then watches another student performing in public. While watching, Donald walks up behind her and shares that the student performer's name is Peter. In class, Donald pays special attention to the newcomer, guiding her hand as she paints. However, Graydon interrupts Donald, drawing attention to himself. He takes Lily's canvas and makes inappropriate comments about it. Embarrassed, Lily flees. At home, Tanya is concerned about Lily's sudden appearance. Meanwhile, someone takes Lily's ad from the communal board. Discouraged by Graydon's words, Lily tears down the drawings she recently decorated her room with. Moments later, Graydon knocks and apologizes, explaining that his antagonism wasn't directed at her. She doesn't entertain the sculptor, and after hearing him leave, Lily resumes reading Ivy's diary. While reading, the woman imagines Ivy posing for the photographs. Then, Lily stands in front of a mirror, trying to imitate Ivy's figure. Just then, someone slips a love poem under her door and runs off. After reading it, she looks out the window, noting that Graydon isn't outside. Shortly after, a woman calls Lily about her babysitting ad. Excited, Lily shares the news with Tanya. As they celebrate, Graydon walks in, announcing that the painter is upset with him. The sculptor asks for forgiveness, and the woman eventually accepts. Amused, Tanya watches as Graydon pulls Lily along with him. Graydon leads Lily to a sculpture, where he reveals his disdain for Donald and his favoritism towards attractive students. The painter asks what the metal sculpture is supposed to be, but Graydon only gives a vague answer. He then points to Beverly Hills, where he lives, which is nearby, but it feels out of reach because he isn't on good terms with his family. The two lie on the ground, then Lily shares her wish to be someone else. Graydon then kisses her, saying she's beautiful. Abruptly, the painter gets up and retreats. Later, Lily continues reading Ivy's diary, fascinated by her carefree attitude. The next morning, inspired by Ivy's words, Lily reinvents herself. She cuts her hair short and dons the mysterious woman's clothing, determined to embody the same confidence and freedom that Ivy exudes. Later, while Lily is watching Peter's performance, a biker passes by and catcalls her. Graydon then approaches her, boasting about all the reasons why he's a better choice. In response, the painter teases him and walks away. From a distance, Donald observes their interaction and follows Lily into the campus gallery. Inside, she takes off her hat and admires the artwork. Donald approaches Lily, remarking that women often change their hair when something significant happens. The professor compliments her new hairstyle, but adds that she shouldn't hide her pretty face with it. Soon after, Angela Falk, Donald's wife, joins them and the man introduces Lily as their new babysitter. At the Falk residence, Lily plays a game of hide-and-seek with Daphna Falk. While looking for the child, the babysitter admires the art in the Falk's home. After finding her playmate in the couple's bedroom, the painter spots a black case and Daphna reveals that it contains pictures of her dad's old paintings. Lily inquires about why Donald stopped painting, and Daphna responds that her mom claims painting makes him crazy. Upon hearing her dad's calls, Daphna resumes hiding. Before Lily could exit, Donald walks in and finds the flustered babysitter alone in their bedroom. Angela soon arrives home and prompts her husband to give the babysitter a ride back home. 
During the car ride, Donald praises Lily for taking the risk of leaving her hometown. The professor assures her that she made the right decision. Once they arrive at her house, Donald offers to take a look at her other pieces after class if she wants, but Lily responds vaguely before going inside. Then, Graydon arrives as the professor drives off. That night, Lily reads Ivy's philosophy of never falling in love. She then visits Graydon while he's working on a sculpture. They down some shots and Lily takes off her cap to reveal her new haircut. Graydon takes a moment to react, causing the woman to worry that he doesn't like it. But Graydon quickly assures her that the new hairstyle makes her look attractive, and then asks if Donald liked it too. She clarifies that she's just the professor's babysitter, then draws closer to him. They kiss, which then leads to something more. Later, Lily dreams of a ghost of her former self, who approaches her, holds her hand, and asks if she remembers her old self. Lily, who is now influenced by Ivy, remains silent and pulls her hand away. So, her specter asks if they can be together, to which the reinvented woman responds that she can't, right before waking up. The next day, the painter surprises Donald by going over to the faculty room to show him her work. After a few choice critiques from the professor, the student mocks his ability to judge since he no longer paints. Donald begins lecturing her about the realities of being an artist, that it takes sacrifice and battling with inner demons. The professor then shares that he lost his battles, thus he no longer paints. Hearing this, Lily declares that she's ready to face those challenges and suggests that they confront their fears together. Intrigued, Donald tells her to sit down and grabs a nearby easel. He instructs Lily to unclothe, causing her to laugh nervously. The professor explains that this is her first demon to battle, then Donald begins to paint. Later, Lily begins a painting using one of Ivy's photos as her subject. She also starts spending more time with Donald, often in escalating states of unclothing. Graydon confronts her about their dwindling time together, but she reassures him that it's just work. One night, while drawing, Donald tries to call Lily but only gets her voicemail and he slams the phone down in frustration. Meanwhile, Angela lies in bed in tears. The next day, Lily is putting the final touches on her painting when Bridget sneaks in to inform her about the party she's hosting that night. Once she leaves, Lily quietly curses the dancer under her breath. Overhearing Bridget's voice calling Graydon, she looks out the window and sees her all over him. Irritated, she silently curses him out as well. Later, Lily exits her room and Tanya is taken aback by her housemate's sudden transformation, questioning her rash choices. Lily responds rudely, dismissing her housemate. Hurt, Tanya seeks comfort in the arms of Roxanne, her new lover, and they leave the room together. That night, Lily heads to a bar stand at Bridget's party. While contemplating her drink, a masked man approaches her, suggesting an icebreaker. When she asks what that is, the man traces her chest with a line before taking a shot, then leaves. Surprised, Lily chuckles to herself. As the night goes on, she watches as Bridget closely dances with Graydon. In an attempt to make him jealous, the painter finds the masked man and dances with him. Her plan works as Graydon can't stop glancing over at them despite being with Bridget. Lily escalates their interaction, kissing the masked man. However, when she removes his mask, she's shocked to discover that it's Robert, causing the musician to flee the scene. Meanwhile, Graydon approaches the painter and they begin dancing. Their intimacy grows and they start kissing. Outside, Donald is shaken as he watches the two get intimate. Then, Lily leads Graydon to her room, with Robert watching from the shadows. The next morning, Lily is woken up by her parents' message, urging her to come home for Thanksgiving. Graydon shows her the time and she hurries to get ready for Donald's class. As she gets ready, the sculptor asks her about her Thanksgiving plans, reporting that the rest of the residents are going back to their families. Graydon grabs a cigarette and rummages for a lighter, but instead he finds Lily's romantic poems. Moments later, the phone rings and Graydon answers, but the caller quickly hangs up. Lily exits the bathroom and asks who called, but he replies that he doesn't know, adding that there are a lot of things he doesn't know anymore. Perplexed, Lily tells him that she needs to get to class, and the sculptor storms off after displaying the poems. It then dawns on her that Graydon didn't write them. Later, Angela visits Donald at the faculty room and he buzzes her in. She comments that he didn't use to lock the door. Angela notices a covered painting and asks if she can see it. However, her husband quickly moves towards her and sternly refuses. Sensing his discomfort, Angela asks who Donald is painting. He answers vaguely, avoiding naming Lily. Angela confides her fear of him having another affair with a student. Her husband reassures her that their family is his life, but Angela points out that it didn't stop him from cheating before. She storms off, leaving Donald exasperated. Outside, Lily witnesses Angela leaving. 
When Lily enters, Donald questions her if Graydon is the reason she missed class. Unwilling to answer, the painter begins to leave. Donald stops her and she admits that she and Graydon were together. Then, the professor confesses his love for Lily, saying that he's painting again because of her. When the professor begins kissing her, the woman only weakly resists. He leads her to her station, where he continues to caress and kiss her. However, their intimate moment is interrupted by the doorbell ringing, and the student leaves shortly afterward. Later that night, Donald rebuffs his wife's advances. Meanwhile, Lily and Graydon arrive at home. She apologizes to the sculptor for her recent behavior, blaming it on adjusting to a new place. They kiss, and Graydon carries her inside. It's Thanksgiving. Donald opens the door, surprised to see his students, Lily and Graydon, whom his wife invited over. Angela walks over, and Lily apologizes for bringing Graydon along, explaining that he has no family to visit for the holidays. Angela doesn't mind, and they do quick introductions. As they walk in, Graydon remarks on one of the paintings. Flustered, Angela says that she's the subject and her husband painted it a long time ago. In the kitchen, Donald is peeved that his wife didn't inform him of Lily's presence. Moments later, Graydon walks in and offers to help with their preparations. As they bring out the dishes, Angela asks Lily to get the drinks from the fridge. While everyone is gathered in the dining room, Donald corners Lily and asks why she's with Graydon, to which Lily proclaims that they're in a relationship. There's a heavy atmosphere as they eat, but the atmosphere lightens briefly when Daphna announces that she's done eating and crawls under the table to hide. Graydon strikes up a conversation with Angela, asking about her photography and complimenting her appearance. The photographer is pleased by the attention. The sculptor then compliments Donald's painting, and the professor attributes it to the subject, which causes Lily to smile. When Angela announces that her husband has resumed painting, he abruptly announces that he's getting more wine. The photographer then recounts how she met Donald, saying she was once his student. The professor returns with the wine and chides his wife for telling unimportant stories. Angela defends herself, saying that their meeting wasn't unimportant. Night falls and Donald carries his daughter to bed. When Angela offers to take her, Daphna announces that she wants her father and babysitter to bring her. As the two bring her to bed, Graydon helps Angela with the dishes. After exiting Daphna's room, Angela accosts Lily in the hallway, cornering her to a wall. The thud on the wall startles Angela, causing her to drop a glass. Concerned, she checks on the sound as Donald forces himself on Lily. Simultaneously, Daphna exits her room and sees a crying Lily being attacked by her father. Distraught, Daphna runs outside, past her mother, who also catches them in the act. The parents chase after their daughter, so does Graydon, leaving Lily alone in shame. Daphna runs onto the road and unfortunately gets hit by an oncoming car. The parents, along with Graydon, crowd around the unconscious child. Angela begins pummeling her husband, blaming him. When the husband shoves his wife aside, Graydon punches the professor. As the driver calls 911, Daphna regains consciousness and calls for her mother. Lily, overwhelmed with the tragedy, runs away from the scene. She arrives home in tears, unaware that Robert is also there. Blaming everything on Ivy, she tears down and discards everything related to Ivy's influence. As Lily washes off tonight's trauma, someone silently enters the house. She then exits the bathroom and finds Graydon, informing her that Daphna is going to be fine. But he closes the door on her when she tries to talk to him. Suddenly, someone hits Graydon unconscious. Alarmed at the sound, Lily grabs something to defend herself. Then, Donald walks in and menacingly says that he can't let Lily go. Donald easily overpowers the woman, but Graydon comes in and pulls him off of her, giving the woman a chance to escape. Frustrated, Donald grabs the sculptor and drives him through the windows. The unhinged professor continues to hit Graydon, knocking him unconscious. Panicking, Lily flees the room and locks herself in Bridget's room. As the professor tries to reason with Lily, Robert announces that the police are coming. Hearing this, Donald manhandles Robert and hurls him down the stairs. Before the deranged man forces Bridget's door open, Lily runs outside another exit but ends up on the roof with nowhere to go. Donald seizes her while the fearful woman explains that she never meant to hurt him or his child. However, the obsessive man remains unresponsive and slowly walks backward towards the roof's edge while holding Lily. Eventually, Donald falls and snaps back to his senses but manages to grab hold of the woman's ankle, scrambling to get back up. Seconds later, Graydon arrives and pulls Lily away, causing the professor to fall to the ground. Seeing Donald's broken body, Lily breaks down, pushing Graydon away in a moment of overwhelming emotion. Days later, Lily is back to her old self, having shed all of Ivy's influence. She approaches Graydon to apologize, but he ignores her. 
Undeterred, Lily explains that she had always felt like an outcast, both in her hometown and in university, which prompted her to adopt a different identity. She admits that being someone else was intoxicating, but soon she pushed it too far. Before heading back, she professes her love to Graydon. Graydon responds by calling out to her and reciprocates his feelings toward her. They embrace, finally finding solace in each other's arms. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.